friend Roger Christofferson here again with another first listen review. Uh, this is, you know, the type of thing you like listening to dudes babble about uh, music that they love, and you came to the right place. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the Art of Anarchy. In case you don't know who this is, uh, the Art of Anarchy was kind of formed out of uh, Ron Bumblefoot Thal and the uh, the Vada brothers, John Vada and drummer Vince Vada. And uh, they've gone through a few different changes. In case you don't know the history of this band, the short history is uh, looking for a singer, ended up with Scott Weiland in their band, <clears throat> did their first album, and then they got um, the dude there from Creed, Scott Stapp, singing on their second album. And uh, that was back in uh, 2017, and uh, they haven't done anything since then. So. Um, the first album was 15, so and they haven't done anything since then. But you know, Ron Thal's been uh, busy out doing some other stuff. I'm not so sure what the Vada brothers, what their history is, quite honestly. But uh, you know, got Bumblefoot who uh, played with Guns N' Roses for a while, and uh, he did a little stint with Asia in there too. And uh, most recently, as far as what I know, he's done. He's been with Sons of Apollo which is where um, Jeff Scott Soto comes into the picture here because he is now the new singer for Art of Anarchy. And, uh, you know, he did that uh, band, Sons of Apollo, with Bumblefoot in that. They kind of have split up, you know, as I kind of expected they would because, you know, these super groups tend to do that for some reason, which is kind of unfortunate because I really like that band. But, uh, if, which kind of leads me to the good news, I guess, that if you like that style of music, you're probably going to like this, even though it's not quite as progressive as uh, Sons of Apollo. It's still in that vein. The thing I had an issue with with the first two uh, albums that these guys did was it seems like they wrote the music and then they just tried to like find a singer to just sing over it. And it wasn't like they were, it didn't sound like it was written together. I don't know if that is the case or not, <clears throat> uh, but it just sounds like it didn't sound like something Scott Weiland fit in with it as Scott Stapp I don't know I'm not a fan of his style of singing um but I don't think that fit was I, that sounded just awkward to me that's just my personal opinion uh as far as Jeff Scott Soto goes that dude is a killer singer been one of my favorite singers forever uh going all the way back to Ingve. in fact when the first song on this album kicked in I was like this sounds like Ingve vibes to me it wasn't like the Yngwie style of playing as far as the solos go but the song itself was like oh wow this is kind of cool and uh it just keeps that vein it just is it sounds like I don't know if it was but it sounds like it was written with just got soda in mind um the uh the style of music on this one fit perfectly with his vocal style it's heavier a lot heavier than the, the first couple albums were got a little bit more of a progressive vibe to it and uh, I just really like the way that uh, this turned out so um, the thing about Bumblefoot is I, you know he's been in these huge bands but I really don't think that he gets the the uh, accolades that he, he deserves I remember watching him with the Sons of Apollo and he had this weird um, fretless like steel necked guitar that had the weirdest sound he played it a lot he was playing it like all the videos he, uh, I think he actually, I remember seeing a video of him playing with Asia, I think he might have done that. He was actually singing with Asia, which was weird because, like, uh, it was just a strange, odd choice for him to be doing. Like, that was mainly what he was doing, was just singing. That wasn't even, like, the featured guitar player. He was a singer, which I just found to be really bizarre. But um, that aside, this album, getting back to this again, I guess, you know, Jeff is the permanent member at this point. Uh this album is like doesn't sound like any of the other An Art of Anarchy albums so it's almost like it's a fresh band I guess you know the, the name recognition was probably why they went with the uh, you know it's the same guys playing other aside from the singer um, I hope they can stick with him in this one because it really sounded good I would actually like to hear what he does with some of the earlier stuff just because Jeff's one of those guys that can just sing anything and make it sound good he's you know been involved with a lot of big names a lot of big people so I'd be interested in hearing what uh, you know what these guys sound like live. Hopefully they do some stuff and hear some Jeff singing some of the old stuff and uh, in my opinion probably making it sound better. But <laughs> like I said, it's just my opinion. And uh, as always, I welcome everybody to share their opinion on here. If you have something you would like to share about this one that I'm leaving out, because really, 
I think I've said pretty much anything I can say about this one. It's just it's just a lot heavier. I mean, it, it just uh, it's in your face. There's some like super fast um, double kick going on in the middle of the album here, track seven, I think it was, just killing it. And uh, man, it was just cool to hear him singing some heavy stuff like that again. I really like when he does the, the heavier stuff. He does a lot of AOR bands, and he's not been involved with that. But when he does the heavier music, I just think that really fits his style of singing so much better. And uh, you know, so anyway, feel free to share your, your opinions on that. And as always, like, share, subscribe to keep music alive. And uh, we'll talk to you in the next one. See you.